So I took a bunch of the books that I liked and and basically created a class around the books and the and the movies that I like. And my idea was we want computer science students and professionals to really be able to connect to the creativity that comes with knowledge about society, knowledge about history, and the knowledge of the creative process, which really comes out in writing. So um, so the idea of this class is that we kind of look at some of the history of science fiction, especially as it, how it connects to robotics and artificial intelligence, and, and trace the pathways through time. And so much of these discussions, when we look at history, lets us also think about a lot of the ethical and societal issue, issues that come up as well. So in, our, in my university, it's a general education class that has, um, it of course fulfills literature requirements, but it also fulfills an ethical requirement that students have. And then because it's about reading and writing as a, as a good response to the reading, it's also a writing intensive class. So it's, it's a lot of fun. We have um, one movie a week that students watch and we read quite a few short stories and uh, quite a few novels. And the, the better students get all the way through all of the novels. So, so let me be a brief curmudgeon then. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a really, say, uh, technically oriented CS undergrad, and I'm like, why should I take this course? Because it's, it's just going to delay the time I could spend learning Ruby on Rails. Or right. Like well, it's actually not a required CS technical class. It fulfills the general education requ requirements for all of the majors at our university. So um, even, even the, the small engineering uh, requirements for general education, they can have this one count as well. So it's not going to detract from any of your technical courses, but it includes a lot of the technology in the course. So I talk a lot about some of the basic ideas of um, of how we think about intelligence from a computer science point of view, how we think about humans um, modeling human behavior, both thinking and actions in robotics, and then we end up talking a lot about search. So I connect, I connect the um, the ideas that we teach in the in data in like data mining and intelligent systems and AI classes. I pull that material in so that students can see the parallels. So notice what kind of what kind of AI is being implemented in this story. So I, people should take it because they have other university requirements to fulfill, and you may as well learn more technology while you're taking this class. So it's above and beyond. It's not hard to get them to want to take it. 